Hey guys, it's Cthulhu here. So, uh, with the combat of evolution, I keep saying it the wrong way around for some reason, I don't know why, but because of the evolution of combat update, or, or rather the beta testing, which is uh, coming very close now, um, I wanted to talk more about it in uh, in anticipation of the beta. And uh, and yeah, oh god, I've just remembered lots of people are going to be having a go at me for saying beta instead of beta. Um, you're just going to have to try and withhold yourself. In fact, I probably won't have to say the word again. Um, but yeah, so with, with the, with the whole update coming very, very soon, um, I wanted to talk more about, uh, about the evolution of combat. So, um, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll do that in another video, but what I wanted to talk mainly in this video is about my own ideas for the evolution of combat. Now, this is one that I, I thought to, uh, thought about myself, and I, I'm quite happy with, with what I've actually come up with. And I'd love to know what you guys think about it. And this is definitely a discussion video, so make sure to use the comments because I will be reading them and I'll be discussing it as well. And I think this could be an interesting uh, suggestion and topic of debate. But um, but yeah, with the evolution of combat, what Jagex will be focusing on doing is creating more party roles. So if you've ever played another MMORPG, what you'll notice is one of the big differences between RuneScape and, uh, and other games is that usually in other MMORPGs you get a nice uh, variation of player type. So, for example, if you've ever played anything like World of Warcraft, you won't just have a team of meleeers. You will have meleeers, you will have tanks, you will have mages, and you have rangers. But in RuneScape, you don't really have a choice. Uh, so, for example, if we were to kill Bandos, you can't really choose to be a major or a ranger because you know that it gives you absolutely no advantage whatsoever using either of those attack styles when melee attack is going to be doing the majority of the uh, of the damage output. So uh, you don't get that kind of uh, you don't get that kind of choice in RuneScape, whereas you do get that choice, and it's a valid choice to make on other games. So I've been thinking of ways on you know how to make it a more valid choice. How do you make um, it possible to use mage at Bandos, um, and how do you make it useful? And uh, and my idea was to create a kind of like weakness combat triangle. So what you would have is. Um, so we're going to go through a few examples so I can I could distinguish what the differences would be. So in the first example, we would have a tank. Now, the tanks are actually going to be the same in all these examples. It's actually regarding the other three players that the differences will be. So in this first example, there will be three meleeers. And those meleeers will all be doing similar um, amounts of damage output. And, uh, and let's just say that that's going to be the base damage output. So let's say that it's 100%. Um, so the damage that all three of these meleeers will be doing will be equal to 100% of their potential. And that's it. That's the end of that example. Now, a new example. Let's say that there's a major and two meleeers. Now, in this case, because there is a meleeer present, the meleeer will attack Bandos. And because Bandos is attacked by a meleeer, it, for some reason, is now weaker to magic. Now, because it's weaker to magic, that mage will not just be doing 100% of its base damage that it would normally do, but instead it's now doing 120% of damage because Bandos has become weaker to magic because there's a Melea present. So in other words, a, a Melea has now complemented a Major. So, um, so yeah, now moving on to the third example. So now let's assume that there's going to be a Melea, a Major and a Ranger. Now, because the Melea is still present, that means that the Magician is now still doing 120% of its normal damage. Because the Major is present, it's weakening Bandos in terms of its ranged event, which makes the Ranger do 120% of its attack damage. And because the Ranger is present, it is weakening Bandos in terms of its melee defense, which is making melee now do 120% of its attack damage. So we've gone from an example where at three Meleas were just doing the 100% of their attack damage and we've now gone to a situation where people are able to use all three attack types and they're all complementing each other so that a magician an archer and a melee are now all doing 120 percent damage uh, on bandos and they would usually do and um and obviously for this situation to work, you have to also assume that mages are a lot more powerful against Bandos than they currently are and that you don't get as many misses as you do right now, basically. So, I mean, that system has to be tweaked where magicians still need to be a more viable um, a viable choice to take in a party. But then once you've made it more viable, you also make it an actual proper choice. 
because it will help your archer do a lot more damage and you need to have an archer in the team because you want the melees to do more damage so uh, so yeah that's i think that's a really good idea i've had and um and i think i think that it would really help the game because i mean i'm fed up going to bandos and seeing people just just having to melee it i think people want the choice to be able to go there and ice power jet i think that would be quite fun and also it adds a little bit more strategic value to the whole experience because by barraging it obviously you know the tank can now get off it for a few seconds and and just take a break for a little while before uh, before it re um, it reattacks him and and maybe you know the tank has to re enrage bandos to make sure that the bandos continues to attack the tank once it's once it's all, all over and done with, once it's unfrozen itself. And yeah, I would I would love to have more more strategy there by involving, you know, mages and rangers into into that kind of experience. And so for example, if we were to use a new example altogether, so let's assume next stage large uh, next stage largely the same. And let's say magic still continues to not work very effectively against next. However, because you're a magician because you are lowering the defense of Nex in terms of its range defense and because let's say nine other players on the team are all using range that means that all those rangers are going to be doing 120 percent of their normal attack damage and that's a huge increase just for the sake of having one major in the team and i would like to see that i would like to see it you know all these bosses involving more different types of attack styles that complement other attack styles so like i've said the major complements the rangers and it makes the situation a whole lot easier to deal with and um and i think i think that would be a nice a nice part of the game and also i think it would allow people to specialize more easily um because basically i mean if you think about it like this i have uh, roughly 500 mil in my bank maybe 600 mil and that would probably be stretching it that means that if i wanted to properly specialize in one skill and one skill no sorry one attack type and one attack type alone i would have to choose between melee uh, magic and and range so if i wanted to do it properly i would be thinking to myself right so i want to buy pernix for range if that's what i choose I want to buy torva for melee if i choose that instead or if i want to buy if i want to be perfect for my ma for mage i will buy virtuous so um so yeah and then i find out i've got i've got two other people in my team i've got one guy that has bandos and has no decent range i mean maybe his range is black dehydes and his mage is rms and um so yeah so then you know he he seems to be best for melee in the situation and then the ranger the ranger has pernix so that's fantastic he's he's completely specialized for uh, for for pernix for range and so that leaves me with with having to take the specialization of magic and so now i can put all my money into getting magic gear for the team and so i mean that would be another great idea because instead of having all three attack styles you get to specialize more easily in another attack style i think that would be another part of the game that i would really enjoy and also just the last bit about the idea so it actually involves tanking so um one thing i want to see is i want to see tanks having less effect on on the damage output of the team um and i want to see this done in several ways i want firstly i want there to be shields that are that are two-handed that um that are just insanely you know insanely good in terms of defense but because you have to use both hands on the shield uh you have no choice but not to use a weapon and instead you can use other abilities to uh to maybe do a little bit of damage output or something like that um the second way i want to see it done is i want to see uh, new armor that they're going to be releasing that will be focused on tanks so in other words increased defense and hp ratings i want to see those armor that 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 those types of armor having less attack bonuses well not sorry not less attack bonus i want it to have negative attack bonuses like pernix and like uh and like armadil have negative melee attack bonuses i want to see the, the same for attack um bonuses on the tank gear um so yeah i want people that do choose to use a single-handed shield with a uh, chaotic rapier i want to see those tanks less effective with their chaotic rapier and the third and final way i want to see it change i want to see uh tanks um choosing to use their abilities rather than their auto attacks so instead of using an auto attack with a rapier i want them to i want them to be making a conscious decision that using an ability would be better than using a weapon and maybe that ability weakens the enemy maybe 
that ability uh, maintains that the enemy continues to attack that tank so kind of some kind of like rage meter so if you if the tank doesn't have enough you know of enough rage against that tank then the the npc could go off and attack someone else completely different um so yeah a rage meter and also just to disable the npc so maybe a stun so obviously if you're a tank you you'd want to stun your enemy to ensure that he's not able to attack at all and he gets less attacks as long as he's alive for um so yeah i want to see people to um be able to make the conscious decision to attack less and to use other abilities that will improve his tanking ability more so um those are my abilities for this video i've had enough of talking for today so um so yeah let me know what you think of my ideas let me know if it's worth actually going to uh, to jagex and making this as a an official you know an official suggestion on the runescape forums but i i like the idea and i think it would really help the game and and add more dimensions to this game um especially seeing as that they're going to be adding more dimensions to the game already if you haven't heard already there are going to be npcs that are weak to certain magic spells and i mean that brings a, a whole new dimension to the game and, and yeah i think my idea would too and who knows maybe maybe that's already their intention i mean in terms of the whole tanking thing i think that is their intention to make sure that there is an outright tank and that that tank doesn't you know do as much damage output as a as a normal dps would but in terms of weaknesses i would like to see that suggestion and i would like to see jagex you know bring out something to that effect anyway guys thanks for watching and until next time see you around <laughs>